Okay guys, it's Sean. See if we can bring you guys in here. Hopefully where you can see what we got. All right, basically it's pretty simple. We got some uh, copper wire. I did seven inches. So you need about 15 inches because you've got to have room for the bend about 15 inches of copper wire or you could do a coat hanger but you got to scrape the the junk off the coat hanger you know the, the enamel and they'll rust okay now I know this is gonna corrode but periodically you can just run a little bit of steel wool on there okay point is here this is how I built it Now, that's the stand I made. You don't have to have a stand, but you got to have some way to mount this. You can mount this on a dipole or a, in your yard or mount this on whatever you want. Point is, you got to have about 15 inches of copper wire. Find the center and fold it. Then you gotta have some fender washers of about whatever size screw you decide to use. As long as the screw retains the washer, that's all you need. Okay? That's all I'm gonna say is, um, now I built mine out of uh, recycled plastic. So that the uh, the arms wouldn't rot out. It's just you know green plastic. I painted it white, but then you start from one end. These two Re reverse pull. Okay, so you go from one side and you exit. So, from these two end, from one end, you exit. And these wires, importantly enough, have to be insulated. Okay? You don't want them crossing here and getting contact. Keep them insulated. Same thing on this end. Keep them insulated. Romex works good, and that's what I used. Okay, so you got your two, you, you cross, and then it comes in here, okay, you got your same exact poles sticking out, alright, got these two, now you go straight, get yourself one of those matching transformers. From the olden days. Okay. Make sure that you have contact here and here. On these screws. So your matching transformer. Strip your wire back. This is insulated wire. Strip it back. Then you go to the next pole. All these poles have to be stripped. All these connections have to be stripped back. Okay. Now you got your next two. From here, you just go straight up. Then you cross again. This insulated wire. Okay. Then you got your final two. Pretty simple, guys. Let me bring you back. It's pretty simple. You got your cross, your straight, and then another cross. Okay?
Now, I've seen people do more lengthy, you know, ones. But remember, make that cross on if you're going to do, you know, 10 or 12. Make sure that cross is there. And insulate wire. Make sure you're using insulated wire. That's it, guys. You have to have one of these or you will get nothing. Bring it back in. Yeah, you have to have one of these matching transformers or you'll, you'll pick up nothing. Okay. But that's pretty much it. And build it out of whatever you want. You can build it out of a uh, board just to try it out. Uh, I built mine out of uh, I built mine out of uh, plastic so that I knew it wouldn't rot. But there you go, guys. That's exactly what I did. You just got a cross, two straights, and another cross. Yep. And then you can mount it on whatever pole you want. You could stick it up in the air like 500 feet if you want. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking maybe if, if you got the higher you go, you know, the more, the more it'll do. But um, just sitting on the trailer here, and I'm where? Oh, criminy. Uh, about 50 miles away from the nearest station. So, hey, there you go. And that's how I did it. Remember, if you watch, guys, thumbs up. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey, YouTube, it's Sean. This video is part two of how to okay I showed you the antenna that I built this video is to how to build it there it is crystal clear no sketches all right not too fond of TMZ well, cruddy 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 but anyway point is let's show you how to build it be right back